in problem 15.7 we are dealing with uh, two masses um, with and uh, two velocities so we have 5.5 um, megagram humpback whale which stuck on the shore due to changes in the tide in an effort to rescue the whale a 12 megagram tugboat is used to pull it free using an inextensible rope tied to its tail to overcome the frictional force of the sand on the whale the tug backs up so that the rope becomes slack and the tug proceeds forward at 3 meters per second uh, if the tug then turns the engine off determine the average frictional force f on the whale if sliding occurs for 1.5 seconds before the tug stops after the rope becomes taut taut which means that the rope is very tight so what is the average force on the rope during the two so in this problem uh, you need to divide this into two steps the first step is to consider between uh, the, the tugboat and also the whale and second between the tugboat and its rope only so let's see if you can draw this okay uh, let's draw a whale so what will whale look like okay so this is probably our whale okay so this is the whale all right and then um this is the rope and also this is the top boot i hope i can draw this top boot well all right okay not too bad okay so we have a top boot over here and this is the flag okay so here we have uh, the velocity to the right and also we have the resistance force here by the wheel and this is the rope okay so what for this uh, particular part of problem we can use the conservation of momentum sorry we can use the momentum equation okay so this is the momentum equation going to the right is positive so uh, m1 vx 1 plus sigma f x dt equals to m2 okay the first state the second state so vx2 all right so uh the first one uh we are dealing with both masses and uh the initial velocity for the first one is equals to zero uh for, for the whale is zero but for the ship uh, it has the initial velocity which is three meter per second so uh, we can divide it into two so v whale oh, sorry m whale uh, times the velocity of the whale initially is equal to zero and then um, we have the boat move to the right so we have the mass of the boat so this is the 12 megagram plus 12 megagram times 10 to the power of 3 um, times the velocity okay, it says that it moves 3 meter per second and then we need to have consider this force so we have this force minus f times uh, 1.5 second movement okay and then mass number two so the mass of the whale times the velocity of the whale after the operation is finished is zero and also the velocity of the ship is zero as well okay so zero so we have known that uh, for the right hand side this one is equal to zero this one is equal to zero and this is equal to zero so once we solve for the f so we can get f equals to 24 kilonewton so this is basically the average frictional force experienced by the whale the second question is um, what is the average force on the rope during the tow so here we are going to consider only uh, the ship and the and the uh, the cable okay so the velocity going to drive v and this is the tension force experienced by the rope okay and this is our ship so what we are going to do is um, we are going to isolate the whale so we are not going to consider the whale so going to the right is positive so m v x 1 plus summation of the force 
times time equals to mvx, the second one. So the second velocity is equals to zero. So this is going to be zero. Okay, and then um, we are trying to measure the tension force. So this is the tension force. So this is tension force going to, to the left. So this is going to be po uh, negative times t. So the whole operation is 1.5 seconds. And here we have the mass of the uh, boat, okay, the tugboat times its velocity. So the velocity is 3 seconds. Eh, sorry, uh, the velocity is 3 meter per second. Okay, and then we have um, 12 megagram. Okay, so once we solve for all this, we can get the tension experienced by um, by the rope. So now it's 24 kilonewton as well.